Okay, hope the lighting's okay. Do apologize for the echo. I'm in the shop. I have to keep the doors closed because the dogs want to come in. Anyway, this is uh, what I got done with the wife yesterday. Uh, I got the flooring done. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it dried. We had some freezing temperatures last night, but you know, everything got dry. So I'm happy about it. Today, I'm doing the metallic coat. Um, and then tomorrow I'll, I'll put the logo on the ground and put some clear over it and then do clear on the awning on the other side of that wall or the lean-to or whatever you want to call it. Nevertheless, I'm going to mix this. So simply for, for the primer, the floor part, you just simply mix part A and part B. Blend it up really well, make sure you have a very clean floor, uh, squeegee it on, and then uh, rolled it, and that's it. Kind of the same thing with this one here. To me, this second coat is a lot easier. Um, you just, uh, I had to mix the pigment in part A yesterday, which is just the resin. So I mix it in there. Today I'll put it in a bigger bucket, mix it up some more. I also got a UV uh, additive uh, to help protect against UV rays that discolor the, uh, the color of the, the top coat. Um, so I'm glad they had that option this time. I didn't see the option last time. So anyway, you mix A, or you put A in the bigger bucket, mix it up for a little bit. Then you put B in the bucket, which is the activator or hardener. Mix that up for about three minutes or so, um, and then spread it. So this is divided, again, this is 30 by 30, roughly. So um, each of these squares, these uh, rectangles, if you will, um, even though they're divided into squares. So each three block um, is even. So I have three kits. I'm putting one on each one um, and then running with it. We'll see how it turns out. But here we go. I'll let you watch me mix this stuff up and then we'll get going. Okay, so I apologize for the echoing again. I cleaned this bucket out yesterday. Um, and for this, I do actually wear gloves because it gets pretty messy. And I don't know if you can see in the camera, but there's all this little glitter-like stuff in the, in the light. That's part of the uh, pigment for the metallic, the metallic pigment for the resin. So, here's my mixer. Good. Still looks good. I'm pretty bad at pouring things, so we'll see how it goes. And these are pretty full. Such a really awesome looking color. This is the part that I'm messy doing. And the time for your resin doesn't start until you mix the hardener into it. So you have a few. You have all the time in the world right now. Well, for it to harden, I don't have all the time in the world. That's what it looks like here. It's kind of hard to see, but.
with the hardener right there. And again, the brand of this is Epoxy Coat. If you can see the label there. I know the sun, the light is kind of shining in bad ways. But anyway, that's uh, Epoxy Coat. Good company, I've used them three times, no complaints. Um, they're actually pretty helpful when you call if you have to talk to them. So let me get this hardener in. The pigment comes in these little jars like this. The pigment, this one here I'm doing is dolphin. Hope you can see that. Anyway, you can see the glitter in the air. I'm sure it's not good for your lungs. shoes on. I should do it the other way around, but I'm a glutton for punishment. I think this coat goes on so much easier than the primer. Um, I don't know what was the deal with the concrete. This was pretty good concrete. I've, I've put this on fresh concrete before, and I never had such good luck. Always had a bunch of air bubbles, and uh, there's lots of problems with it. Um, with air bubbles mainly. Um, I never tried the torch, but I see a lot of people using the torch to put on it when they're done, and that seems to help pretty, pretty well. I was told to use a uh, blower, like a leaf blower, and blow it, and I did. It worked, but then more bubbles came up later. But this concrete, I don't know if it's because of temperature, the humidity, or this has fiber in it. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Anyway, these are the spike shoes. Just wear these. Tighten them up. I like them fairly tight because it's a little, feels a little unstable. And I did dust off the, the floor. Before I got started here. And it's been right about 24 hours since the last coat. So we're good to go. If it's longer than that, you have to sand it. is just mixing, same as uh, what I just showed you. They want three minutes, so I'm trying to get three minutes out of it. So I'm only focusing on this first square, this first rectangle right here that has these three squares in it. So like yesterday, I'm just going to pour it. And after I'm done squeegeeing it, then I'll come back with the roller and roll it. If you have a notched squeegee, it works better. close to the wall as I can get.
same process. I'm gonna do the other two sides and get back to y'all. Okay, got it all done. Now I'm gonna put some of this non-skid aluminum oxide on there because as beautiful as this looks, as much as it looks like glass, it is like glass when it gets anything on it. It's slick. Um, the good thing is it's easy to get dust and all that kind of stuff off it, but you're gonna fall and slip and bust your head. So anyway, um, put this aluminum, uh, this non-skid aluminum oxide on there because um, well, it just helps you not skid on there. Um, the bad thing is if you put too much, then when it comes to sweeping or anything like that, if you're mopping it, it's gonna kind of get hung up in the mop. But I'd rather that than to fall on my head or fall hurt myself. So anyway, when you put this stuff on, I don't put that much. And I just kind of throw it up in the air and you can kind of see where it falls. That's essentially what I do. Hey there again. So real quickly, I just did the logo on the garage floor. Um, that's what the garage floor looks like. <clears throat> again, I'm happy with the product. Um, if anything, there's a few spots I didn't like, but that's again, user error, but I haven't found any bubbles yet. Um, but that's the uh, dolphin gray metallic um, that's it. And then of course that side that's not coated is the living quarters. So, but I got the logo on. It's a three foot by three foot or three foot circle, um, um, logo. So that's it. Now I'm heading out of here. See you soon.